Okay, so we've taken our time. We've settled into the game. We've played it for a while now. I've asked you for your opinions, but now it's time. It's time for me to share my top 10 strikers in FM24, considering all sorts of factors, the price that you can sign them for. Can you actually sign them? How many goals are they going to score for you? I'm going to go from number 10 to number one, and it includes players like this guy, who is he's an absolute beast. He will score so many goals for you. Where will he be on the list, though? You're going to have to watch to find out. Let's go through the top 10. Come on. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the first of my top 10 players per position on FM24. We're going to do this for each of the positions, but today we start with strikers. It's the most exciting one, isn't it? I think the first thing that all of us do, or at least most of us do in our FM saves is, can we go and sign a striker that's going to go score all of our goals? There's nothing more satisfying than signing that striker that goes and scores a shed load for you, right? I'm going to bring you 10 today. And if you find this useful, please do subscribe to the channel. We're really close to 60,000 subscribers. So I'm going to get that plug in nice and early today and then start with this man here. He comes in at number 10. I've asked you guys for your opinions on these as well on Twitter. And you've got loads of suggestions. So many of you said Ivan Azon, who starts the game at Zaragoza, I do believe. I'm using my Newcastle save here to show you where they are. He's either at Salantinan, uh, Salon Itana in Italy, or he's at Zaragoza. Either way, he's pretty affordable. He's pretty cheap, but he's very meta in terms of a striker, really. Six foot, not too tall, but good jumping reach. And then he's got good finishing, really good attributes. If you have a look at the highlighted ones for a pressing forward here, you can see why he's made the list. And this is the type of striker that I'm suggesting here. I'm not going to include players like Erling Haaland, Kylian Mbappe. Obviously, they're the best ones, but you can't sign Kylian Mbappe, really, can you? He's not particularly easy to get out of PSG. Erling Haaland, you need to spend a lot of money to sign these players. You don't need to spend a lot of money to sign the first player on my list here, which is Ivan Azon. Go and check him out in your saves. If you think he's going to be useful for you, maybe you can get yourself a little bit of a bargain here. He comes in at number 10 and I've used him to kind of set the mood. This is what we're looking at. We're looking for really good strikers that for most of your saves, obviously, if you're playing in League 2, you're not going to sign one of these. But most of you could be looking at a player like him and bringing him in. He's number 10. Let's have a look at number nine. In at number nine, I'm going to go for Victor Giocarez, who is now, of course, at Sporting in Portugal, moving from Coventry for, I think it was like 24 million or something, wasn't it? 17 million on here. It's about 20 million, though, I think. He is smashing it, and he looks like an incredible striker. I think there's going to be another move for him after Sporting. And do you know what? It could be you in your FM saves. He is, he's everything I look for in a striker. He's big, tall, fast, strong, can finish, love love him. 19 work rate is great as well. The aggression, he's going to win those challenges, those headers too. He will score goals for you. And in this save here, I'm in 2025, a few seasons in, he's really affordable. Less than 20 million for me in this particular save. Obviously, they might look slightly different in your saves too, but I'm going to give you a few seasons in to give you a bit, what, it's like a year and a half into the save here to give you a bit of, a bit of context to what they might turn out like a little bit. Victor Giocarez comes in at number nine. He could have been higher on this list. It's a very, the top 10, any of them could do a job, I think. But I'm going to go with my experience of them. And of course, this is my opinion. If you disagree and my and your favorite striker isn't in the list, you could, you've could you got two choices. You could either shout at me or you could just, you know, in a kind, nice way, pop it as a suggestion in the comments below. That would be probably be more beneficial, wouldn't it? In at number eight, I've gone for another striker that is tearing up trees in the real world of football right now. Santiago Jimenez is a goal scoring machine for Feyenoord in the Eredivisie this season. And he's pretty well represented in Football Manager this year too. Again, if you just look at those attributes, they're in the right place. He's got the work rate, the finishing at 16 here, outrageous with the 16 composure, and then just good physicals, big, tall and strong. Not like super fast, not like super big either, but just well-rounded enough to definitely score goals for you. His value shot up in this particular save, but I think he'd probably be a, a bit cheaper earlier on. Mexican striker scores goals for Mexican, Mexican international too. Really, really like him in real life. And I think sometimes liking a player in real life actually helps you to like them in FM as well. I don't know if you guys have that affinity too. I find it, I struggle to sign players that I just don't really like in real life. I kind of need to, need to appreciate them. And I appreciate Santiago Jimenez. He's number eight. Let's have a look at number seven. All right, in at number seven is a player who really does lean into what I look for in a striker. This is very much the Clates meta. He is, he's six foot four. He's got good finishing and he's, uh, that's it. <laughs> that's the end of the list there. Are they tall? Are they fast? Are they strong? 
Uh, yeah, this is Nelson Viper, who's playing for Mainz. Very affordable. Definitely one if you're on a slightly slightly lower budget. Maybe you can't afford a Jimenez, but you could maybe go and have a look at a Nelson Viper. So many of you replied to my tweet suggesting him as well. He's wanted by West Ham and Gladbach. He's actually really young as well. 19 years old, so he starts the game at 18. Affordable project for you. Maybe a really good backup. He's not going to want to start games because he's so young. So maybe you could afford to bring him in as your backup striker and go from there. Really, really like him though. He comes in at number seven. Let's go through to number six. We're doing these really quick fire and why not? Because do you know what? It's just all about these are my favorite strikers. Have a look at them. See if you want to sign them. In at six, I've gone for Lois Openda, a guy who scored two goals against City as I record this recently as I record this. He is at Leipzig. I think if you tried to sign him earlier on, he was he's only just moved to Leipzig. So maybe first season is going to be a little bit tricky. Same with like Jokerez as well. But maybe that January or onwards, if his value does shoot up, that is going to potentially be an issue. But if you can get him, Sometimes they get transfer listed or weird things happen in your saves. If he is available, do go and sign him because have a look at his attributes. The pace is outrageous. 17 pace, 17 acceleration for me here. With great off the ball, with great finishing, the composure is almost there for that perfect trifecta of finishing composure off the ball. 13 is decent enough. Really good penalties as well, actually, at 16. He scored plenty of goals for Leipzig in this save. 4 in 16 this year, but 17 last year. Look, in his first season, 21 in all comps. Really good goal scorer. If you can afford him, go and sign Lois Appender. Now we move through to the top five. And in at number five is another player who's just doing really well in real life. Until Harry Kane decided to just score every 20 minutes or so in the Bundesliga, Serhu Garassi was tearing things up. I think he had like 10 goals in his first like five games. It was outrageous. Slowed down a little bit, but he does play for Stuttgart. So perhaps that explains it a little bit. He's really, really good in FM. And with him playing for Stuttgart, if you're a bigger team, you can definitely go and poach him from there. Just have a look at me. Six foot two. So he fits that bill. Got decent enough acceleration. Good pace. Really good finishing. Again, he's got those penalties, which just adds you extra goals to, to his tally, doesn't it? Because he can take all of your pens. 25 to 31 million pounds here. A little bit older as well. So less of a project, more of one to come in and be your starting striker in your saves. Perhaps he starts at 27. But Serhu Grassi, I was hoping he'd be good because he'd been so good in real life. I was hoping he'd be good in FM, and he is, which is great. So he makes the top five. Let's continue. And I feel like there's a bit of a theme because in at number four is Victor Boniface, another player who is just tearing things up in real life. He's actually moved in this save. Quite funnily, they've paired him with, with Girassi at Stuttgart. In real life, he's just smashing it at Bayer Leverkusen. They've signed him for 4.8 million. They didn't even use him or they barely used him first season. They've got him for 4.8. I mean, if you can sign Victor Boniface in your saves for as cheap as this, definitely go and do it. He's available for like 9 million for me now. Maybe I should sign him in this save. He is, he's brilliant. He's six foot three, great strength, really good balance. Not the quickest, but does have that good finishing, that good composure and that good off the ball too. Definitely not as high as the other ones, but maybe more like stronger because he's six foot three. He's 14 stone. He's a, he's a, he's a big specimen is Victor Boniface. And of course doing really, really well in real life too. He is in at number four. I guess we should look at the top three. Now, this is almost going to be memed. I know it is because when I do a top 10 list of strikers, I kind of just, I could just sort it by height, couldn't I? This guy's six foot five. In at number three is Emmanuel Omega. Omega? 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 I'm going to go with that. He is a Dutch striker, young as well. He starts the game at Sturm Graz and you can pick him up for a pretty cheap if Strasbourg have picked him up for 11 million pounds. Has he gone to a Strasbourg in real life? He might have done, actually, if it's in 2023. He's either at Strasbourg or he's at... Um, I, I, this is just my say. He's either at Sturm Graz or he's at Strasbourg. Either way, should be attainable for your team. He's a monster. Six foot five striker with amazing dribbling, finishing, first touch, and young. I think that's the key thing for him. That's why I really like him, because he's going to be cheaper and you can also develop him. He'll have decent potential. So many of you suggested him too. He comes in at number three. A mega, I really like the look of him. He looks really good, doesn't he? And in at number two, for my favourite strikers in FM24, and remember that, these are my favourites, so you're, I'm happy for you to disagree, and I'm sure there are others that out there that you would prefer to go and sign, but hopefully, hopefully it's helpful anyway, and it's good to get these opinions in there as well, isn't it? In at number two, a bit of a weird one, because he cannot play until January of the first season, but that can sometimes make him quite available. It's a player that I took a punt on in my Newcastle save, and if you've been keeping up with this save... You'll see, you'll know just how successful he was. I signed him for 50 million. 
Most of that was in, in installments. It wasn't 50 million up front. I think it was like 20 something up front. And just have a look at the first season that Ivan Tony had for me. 14 goals in 14 games in the league. 28 goals in 21 starts. He was just on fire and he's kind of continued it second season too. Even though Alexander Izak is a beast. Not in my list, but if you can sign Izak, he's also amazing. But I feel like you just know that anyway, right? Ivan Tony though, in at number two because... I just think he's great and he's just he's one of those strikers that even if his attributes don't show it although he looks amazing i know for a fact he scores loads of goals because he's done it for me and i think that's enough sometimes who's he wanted by here he's wanted by ac milan which is fun he comes in at number two which means there's one player left to show you my number one striker of fm24 so far that i have experienced is samu omorodian now i've not actually had too much success with him but he is just Everything I look for in a striker. I've not really used him much in this save, but I know that if I'd made him my first choice striker, this guy bangs goals. He's got everything, right? He's big, tall, strong, fast. He's fairly cheap and affordable. He's playing, he's at Atletico Madrid, but out on loan at Alaves. And he's young. He's only, I think he's 19 at the start of the game. He's 20 now, look. If you use him correctly, this guy will just be, he'll be a superstar. Samu Omorodian, if you can go and sign him, Honestly, go and have a look. I signed him for 22 million. That might even have been a release clause. He's very, very available. And he's he could just be so, so good. I've just had Tony in front of him and Isaac in front of him. But if I didn't, if I just used him, I know that he'd be Premier League top goal scorer. Maybe if Harlem didn't exist. But go and sign him. He's my number one striker. And I am happy to debate these. I'm sure you've got your own opinions. I want to see them in the comments down below. These are my favourites. I'm not saying they are out and out the best. They're my favourite ones that I've seen experienced in the game. And I've also had people feedback that they've been really good in their games too, which I think is really useful information to have when you're looking for the striker that you want to sign. Samuel Morodian, number one. To go through that list, it was Ivan Azon, Gyokerez, Jimenez, Viper, Appenda, Garassi, Boniface, Omega, Tony. And then number one for me, Samuel Omorodian. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video if this is helpful. And most importantly for me, subscribe to the channel because we're nearly really close. 60,000 subscribers but most importantly generally have a lovely rest of your day thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one should we do like defenders next yeah let's do that see you next time Bye bye